I want to hop right into camera shipments here, Nick. Uh, you guys shipped around 740,000 cameras in the quarter. That's down about 50% from just two years ago. Isn't that a clear sign of market saturation here, Nick? No, the, the, the market is far from saturated. When we look at data uh, that shows us um, whether a, a customer of one of our new Hero 5 cameras, which is connected so we can see if they have other GoPro cameras as well, we see that a very large percentage of those customers are entirely new to GoPro. Uh, they have not owned a GoPro before, which would indicate that we're uh, bringing new customers um, into our community. And uh, what you're seeing in terms of unit volumes is a year ago uh, in Q1 2016, you know, we had heavily discounted low-priced GoPros in the market to clear the channel. In 2016, we had too much inventory in the channel. And so in the first quarter, we were selling through all that inventory at our retailers. So you had significantly higher sell-through of lower price product uh, that we have now discontinued and we've shifted uh, more towards our premium line of products and you're seeing that in higher ASPs and that's contributing towards our um, goal of returning to profitability so net net this is this is all a positive you tick off this good news, Nick, but, you know, the stock's down today. It's down 40% in the past six months. I can only see one buy rating left on the name. What's the fundamental part of this story that the street is just missing on GoPro? Well, you know, truth be told, we are executing a turnaround, and we have had uh, several rough quarters previously. Uh, we executed extremely well in the first quarter. You know, we've had two restructurings, one in the fourth quarter at a lower cost. I want to dive into that product uh, pipeline, Nick. Uh, you're going to have to release a camera later this year that wows consumers. At the same time, you guys have had layoffs at that company. Is that a problem? Does that impact product development at GoPro? No, our, our operating expense reductions um, do not impact our product roadmap at all. And that's something that uh, we've stressed repeatedly, and I want to be really clear about today, is that we have a very strong product roadmap, both in hardware and software. And, uh, of course, this is critical in the business that we're in to continue to develop innovative products and solutions that really excite consumers. It's what we get excited about most uh, every day coming into work. And uh, we feel extremely good about our product roadmap moving forward. Consumers and investors should expect continued uh, innovation um, and, and terrific solutions from GoPro moving forward. And I know, Nick, that's a focus for GoPro here, getting leaner and meaner. Um, is that the end of layoffs at GoPro or more to come in 2017? Uh, we're confident that the uh, layoffs and uh, the OPEX reductions that we've made uh, to, to date are uh, what we need to do to uh, give it our best shot at achieving profitability this year. So we feel good about that. We don't expect to have another round of layoffs. We talked about the camera, Nick. I want to switch to the drone. You know, that's a lower margin product. You're competing there with some big rivals like DJI. Walk investors through, Nick, why they should be excited about a lower margin product where you're not even the category leader there. Well, Karma is exceeding expectations, both the external expectations and internal expectations. Uh, you know, it was Karma was contributed to our first quarter revenue beat, uh, but it also did contribute to the uh, lower than expected margin. Uh, but net net, it's a positive because we're selling more of this uh, terrific uh, drone product than we were expecting. Uh, it, and it is contributing positively to our, our business and our financials. Uh, it, it is our entry-level product, uh, our, our entry product into the, the drone category, uh, and it is not a, as high margin as our other products. But it's only our first uh, product in this category, and we expect to uh, build more profitable uh, drone-related product in the future. And the success that Karma is having in the market is paving the way for future successful uh, GoPro entries into this category. You know, in March, uh, it was the number two best-selling drone in the 
thousand dollar and up uh, price band, and that represented roughly 19 percent market share in that price band for drones. And that's a terrific start uh, for the reintroduction of Karma. We're feeling really good about it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.